Yeah, I mean, um, you know, brother, I'm gonna tell you, Sam, I, 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 I was looking forward to this interview. I really, I really was. Um, I, like I said, I, I came up on y'all music. I got fond memories of of fond happy memories, like really, really great memories. And to hear the the, the backstory, yeah. Um, hear what y'all went through and what was going on on the other side of it, man, it breaks my heart, you know, because truth be told, making hits, you know, get low. Um, so y'all had so many huge records. It, it, it man, Yang like wrote the, uh, man, Yang wrote, man, Yang wrote, get low. Yeah, it didn't need to be like this. It didn't. Nope. It really I'm didn't. But it's it's called selfishness, man. It's, it's it's selfishness now. That's what it is. Yep. Wow. And it's crazy because all y'all still stay in Atlanta. You just never drove to the mall or just happened to be out somewhere and John just happened to be there and y'all have a heart to heart, a one to one. Like, yo, how could you do us like this? Look, man, like I told you, I'd be out. He don't be out. I'd be out. He don't, he don't be out. I'm always out. Whether I'm by myself, with my kids, my family, whatever, I'm always out, man. I'm everywhere. He don't, he don't, he don't be out. Well, you gotta think at one time he was staying in LA too. You know, he had uh when he brought the group up, this is crazy part. He brought the group up and he moved to this one neighborhood. And just so happened, I had a buddy that stayed over there. He didn't know that. Why he ended up moving across the street from my buddy. Wow. And I had called him. He I was like, I said, hey, I know where you stay. You stay right across the street from my partner, man. I know exactly where you stay. You got the such and such in the yard and the blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? After that, it probably about a couple months later, my boy said, hey, your boy, he just moved. Your boy moving, man. He got to move the truck out there. He moved. I was like, wow, ain't that something? Hmm. I mean, so, so let me ask you before I let you up out of here. Mm-hmm. I get monetarily, you didn't get what you, you nor Bo got what y'all deserve. Right. Um, how, how, how how do you process this? What do your memories look like? Are, 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 are you, when you look back over your career, are you sad? Are you happy? Do, do, do you feel as though, yo, you know what? As great, as an impact as we made in hip hop, and this is 50 years of hip hop this year we're celebrating, and y'all are, are a big part of that. Right. You know, my heart hurts. I I, I can't enjoy it the way I should. Like, what, 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 how do you look at it? Well, I mean, don't get don't don't get me wrong. Yeah, it, it was it was sad at first. Like, man, it messed up, man. I know we because I know we had so much more to give as a group. You know what I'm saying? I know we had so much more to give. Um, and um, and uh, look, look, quick little story too about the uh, Crunk Juice album too. While we was uh, writing it, recording it, I told John, I said, "Hey man, he we was in a uh, Disco Rich Studio in Miami, and he had the A room and the B room booked out, but he was in the A room making the beats." I was in the B room writing. So as he making beats, he's sending them over there and I'm I'm writing to the beats. And as I'm writing to the beats, I started hearing, I wasn't hearing chants no more. I was hearing the chants in like a rap style. Like, but I couldn't, I couldn't get it figured out in my head. I kept trying to get it figured out in my head, but I couldn't. But that's what I was hearing. And I went in the room and told John, hey man, I don't hear no more chants. I'm hearing like a, a rap style chant. Like it's almost a chant, but it's more of a, a more like a rap cadence chant or whatever stuff. He was like, nah, man, now nah, the chance, man, we need the chance, we need the chance, we need the chance. And I, I am just telling you what I ain't hearing. So years later, who would come out? And when I heard this song, when I first heard, oh, let's do it. <laughs> Man, that's what I was hearing back then, but I couldn't get it figured out in my head. 
I said, look at that now. And that that man, that's some of the hottest stuff right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I said, look at that, man. But yeah, man, I feel it was, I went through emotion. It was sad. You know what I'm saying? It was sad because I was like, wow, man, shit. They had to think about it. That I got money saved up, though. You know, I take care of my family. Shoot. You know what I'm saying? And the BMI checks, they good. Take care of the family. You know what I'm saying? And um residual that I get from the uh, soul plane and you know all these residuals from these movies and TV shows, mm -hmm. they'll take care of the family because they keep coming. So then it got to a point where it was like, you know what, man? If I died today, I could say I actually got a chance to do what I dreamed of doing mm. and make money from it and make an impact at what I dreamed of doing. You know what I'm saying? So I, I look at it like that now, you know, like the, for the question everybody like to ask, for a John go, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? If he can't, if he wasn't, if I wasn't seeing him today, I wouldn't be hey, jacking him up. Like, what's up, man? You good? Man, how everybody doing, you know, like that, you know? I'm I'm at that point now, you know what I'm saying? I had a stroke two years ago and I'm just at a point now where it's like, you know what, man? At the end of the day, God gonna make sure I got, he gonna make sure I get what I'm supposed to get. You know what I mean? He ain't gonna let the devil win. That's why you gotta keep going and going. He ain't gonna let the devil win. And I ain't gonna let the devil win. So I, I keep doing the music. I got I got new music I'm about to drop this year. I'm, I'm thinking about just putting it out and just making it the album. That's how many. That's how many songs I actually got, and I could put I put a good thirteen song album together and still have some more songs left for a second album. So. Yeah, man. Um, you got a lot of creativity in you, brother. Um, I definitely think you should put it out. The I'm world, it out. yeah. The world need it. Just make sure make sure your business is right. I don't see that. That's the thing that business is good right now. You know what I mean? Everything, everything is in 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 alignment. So it's it's perfect, you know? It's perfect. Everything's in alignment. It's like it's nothing like when it first when I first started. Everything's in alignment. I know more now. Uh, I got a better team with me. And we all strive for the same thing. <laughs> to make me richer. There you go. <laughs> yeah, well, we I'm all strive for the same thing. I appreciate your time, Sam. I do. I do. Oh, man, you know, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, I appreciate your time. And um, I can't wait to get this out. You know, it's it's it, some of the story I knew, a lot of it I didn't. But um, I wish yeah. you know, I wish you the best and, and and I pray, man, that the best is yet to come for you. Hey man, them prayers I always I throw them prayers up every day, man. I throw them up every day, and guess what? Every day it get better and better and better and better. You know, yes, even you know. even when all that happened, every day got better and better and better and better when I think back on it, you know. Well, you want to know something? Um, the fact that you don't have no malice in your heart, the fact that if you saw John to this minute, you can ask him about his family, that that's peace. Yeah, you know? yeah, I got peace. I'm man. I'm so peaceful, man. I can ask about family. That's why they ask when we do shows. We're like, yeah, we'll do shows, you know? You know, it was at one point, they were like, you think the boy do a show? Our management be like, oh yeah, they do a show, man. They ain't worried about that stuff. Yeah, they do a show. But he come to us and go, I know y'all want to kill him. Like, man, I want to bust him in the head, but I go do the show, I don't care, you know? That just back then, now, man, I get on the tour bus with you and go do a tour. Because everybody want to see the reunion tour. That's the whole thing. And no. I know we do a reunion tour. Man, it's been talked about. John even talked about it. He even, he actually called himself, called our manager himself and was talking about it maybe three years ago. So it ain't off the table. Just let y'all know. Y'all might just get that reunion y'all want. I hope so. And this is the year for it. So I hope so. Yeah, yeah. Say so peace and blessings, my brother. Hey, man, I appreciate everything, man. You already know, man. You welcome in my house anytime, man. And that's likewise. I, I, I'd love to have you back on the show soon. Oh, part two gets better. <laughs> Bob, <Bob's up. laughs> All right, man. Be good.
What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.